a very warm welcome in the second module of the week 3 of the course Roadmap for Patent Creation titled Terminologies and Codes Used in a Patent Document. In the earlier module, we have seen the parts of patent document. Are you able to complete the assignment given in that module? The assignment which is related to find out who is inventor and who is assignee? Okay. I hope you have done that thing. Now, in this module, we will get a brief idea about the codes used in the patent document. By knowing these codes, we can make out certain things. Here we go. These are a few examples of country code. So, EP, it is for Europe, CN, it is for China, US, it is for a United States, DE, it is for Germany, CH, it is for Switzerland, JP, it is for Japan, KR, it is for Korea and WO, it is for PCT International Application published by WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. These are the two letters which represent a country. So, only by seeing these two words or two letters, we can get the idea about the patent office where the patent is filed. Kindly check this list. Now, the next what you are seeing is the document code. Document code is a simple code that indicates what kind of document you are looking for. You can say that it is a status code of the patent that application uh, patent application. You can judge in which stage of prosecution the patent is. So, for example, A is for application B is for granted patent. However, these codes may differ from country to country. So, let us look into a few examples. So, for example, in China, CN is for that Chinese patent system. Here, C means patent is granted. Hence, if you see code like a CNC, it states that this Chinese patent is a granted patent. Then EPB1, if this code if you observe that EP and B1, it refers to a granted patent in the European patent system. So, as discussed in the Chinese patent system, you can check out that CNA is an unexamined application open to public inspection. CNB is an examined application and it is now open for the public inspection. And CNC as earlier said, it is a granted patent. So, these codes are applied according to a widely accepted WIPO standards. So, the guidelines which are given by WIPO are followed here. Now, we will take a another example, PCT system, which is governed by the WIPO. So, what is the code system followed here? So, let us check. WOA1, this is a publication of the international application with international search report. I repeat, it is a publication of the international application with international search report. WOA2, what is it? The meaning is that this is a publication of the international application without the international search report. What is that international search report we will see when we are seeing the PCT system. Okay. So, what is this WOA2? It is the publication of the international application without international search report. The next WOA3, this is subsequent publication of the international search report. Then WOB1, this is publication of a amended claims. So, if some amendment is done in the claims based on the international search report that is included in this document and that document will be labeled as WOB1. Then WOA8, this is a modified first page. We know what that first page is. All bibliographic information is there on the first page. So, if there are any modification in that first page, 
then that will be published at as a W O A 8. Then next is W O A 9, this is a complete corrected document. So, this is the W O code system which is followed for the international patent application. Now, check these details about a WIPO code system. Here is now the another example we will take, European Patent Office. So, how the code system is followed in European Patent Office? EP that is a European Patent Office, A1, this is the publication of application with a search report that is a EPA1, EPA2, this is the publication of the application without search report. So, first is with search report. A2 is without search report. EPA3, this is the publication of a search report. EPA8, this is a corrected title page of a, an EPA document. EPB2, it is a patent after modification. Then EPB8, it is a corrected front pages of an front page of an E P B document. So, this is the E P system that code system is followed. You can go through the list in more detail. This is about the European patent system that European system of a kind codes. Please check. Now, we will check the USPTO kind code system. So, we have seen first the WIPO system, then we have seen European system, now we will check how USPTO works. So, here in USP, USPTO the kind, co, kind code system it is like this, you can just go through this, check this. So, these all slides to give you idea about the kind codes used by a few major patent offices that is WIPO, European patent system and the USPTO system. Now, we will see the details of INID codes. What is that INID? Internationally agreed numbers for the identification of bibliographic data. Now, we know what is a bibliographic data and how the first page of the patent document is organized. So, we will check what are the different codes that is a internationally agreed numbers for the identification of bibliographic data. In the earlier module, we have checked the various information already on the first page whatever it is present on the uh, in the patent document. So, check these numbers now. Here you can check. 54, 57, 51, 72, 71, please check all these numbers and you just find out okay, what is against that 54, what is against that 57. So, 54 is for title of the invention, 57 is the abstract or a claim. So, you can check these numbers. So, after knowing this code system, we will do one more small exercise. Please take again that same patent document which you have used to understand the parts of patent document. Okay. Now, that document is in your hand. Now, what you do? You find out if any of the codes which are mentioned, we have seen USPTO, European system, WIPO system and this INID numbers. Now, you can check INID numbers in all the documents, whatever the patent document is, which of the patent, any of the uh, means, it may be a USPTO patent document, it may be a European patent document, it may be a WIPO patent document, you can check this INID numbers. 
So, that will be uniform in any of the patent. Then what you can do is that you check out if uh, that uh, uh, kind codes which are used in the patent document, what is that A, B, all these kind of numbers. Okay. So, after that exercise, you can get the idea okay, how the kind codes are used and how the I and I D numbers are used. So, with this, we come to the end of this module. See you in the next session on how to read a patent. We have dedicated three next modules on the the, on this uh, on this topic that is how to read a patent document thank you